Hey, you're supposed to be asleep. It's 6.15 in the morning. <clears throat> At the bottom of Tom. Uh, so I'm about 15 minutes behind on the schedule. And we will see. I'm tired still. My abs are sore. I got to bed at like 10, which is not too bad, but I hope they be in bed at 9.30 and then I made cookies and that was a bad thing. So, well, bad thing because it kept me up later anyways. But cookies are still life. So let's get this done. It's not raining, a little windy, uh, but not raining. Well, we're not calling for much rain today, but hopefully I can get in and out before it rains all over me because I just get tired of running in the rain, understandably. Let's get this run done. Clearly spring is in the air. There have been birds everywhere. Like, I got close enough to almost touch a few of them. I'm feeling tired today though. Definitely not fast. Don't seem fast, my heart rate. Don't have the strength to keep it up very high. To go very hard today. Still nice to be out though. Beautiful day out. like a hawk or something. So despite saying I felt slow, I watched it showing like 56 minutes. I think my record's 59. So we'll see what it comes out to at the end. Yeah, now I'll head off the back, which is a uh, one and a bit kilometers. And I'll loop back around the base of the mountain, back to the car or something like that anyways. So it's cool to see that bird came up and just started, pulled out my phone and filmed immediately because it was cool. Hawk, I thought it was an eagle at first, but I don't think it's an eagle, not big enough. These eagles are like up to your hip. So anyway, let's get this done, finish it off. And evidently, I, or it seems like I'm faster, at least as fast as I normally am. So that's good. Missed a hawk again. You know, it was like sitting like right by that tree. Flip up into the tree here. There it is. Let's see if we can get it for you. Right there. And I'm like, you know, pretty much in a subdivision still. And there's a hawk. Pretty cool. And I was at the top of uh, Tom, and I thought I had actually beat my best time, but I didn't actually. Uh, I was still a few minutes slower. Uh, so no PRs today, uh, except for one off the back of Tom. And uh, I PR'd by like 25 minutes, uh, which is silly because it's like 1.2 <laughs> kilometers or something. The reason I PR'd by 25 minutes is because normally I take my children, and I'm walking with a three-year-old, uh, or you know, like four or five, or however old youngest walking one is so but I PR'd um, yeah it ended up at about 11 and a half kilometers and yeah, it was good I got in and I got in the car and then it started raining like oh, 20 seconds later <laughs> so it was nice to finish that off um, anyway, I'm moving some blog posts around if you want to see my blog I write about I don't want to say productivity but there was some productivity stuff um, about books uh, about staying focused with your work and talking to your customers better and you can find that at curtismichael.ca um, yeah, so I'm going to move that around, have some writing, and uh, a little bit of code work to do uh, for a company today to improve their uh, e-commerce checkout process. Uh, it is, when you get a shipping quote for the U.S., it doesn't like auto-populate that for the rest of the field, so just, you still have to fill it in again, even though you've already filled it in once, which is silly. Uh, and we're going to assume that your shipping and billing match, so as you fill in billing, it's automatically going to fill in all the shipping information for you right away without you interacting. And then if you uncheck it, I'll clear the fields again. So if you uncheck the box, it says save as shipping. 
your statement billing, then I'll clear those fields for you, and then you can just fill them in on your own. Um, well, I'll still probably assume country and state, because uh, I, I would guess that those change much less. That's a little bit of what I do, uh, and then I'll talk to them more about refining their site and tweaking it so that it speaks better to their customers, um, and so that they can ultimately make some more sales uh, with it uh, and speak to the problems their customers really have. Uh, I'll probably do some work to make it look better on mobile browsers as well. So that's it, and I uh, you know, hacked away at elementary OS, which is a variant of Linux and wrote a couple quick blog posts for that this morning already. Uh, just as I'm hitting little bugs and then documenting them so that they're up for other people to find so they don't have to look around for a while. Uh, to solve those, and that's been fun because I get to play with, um, here's my nerd, I get to play with uh, something called um, Jekyll. Uh, so usually I work with WordPress. Jekyll is a, has no database. Uh, WordPress has a big database behind it. It has a database behind it. It's not necessarily that big. Um, but Jekyll has no database. And so Jekyll, I just put like a, a markdown file, which is just a text file. Um, and it just becomes the blog. So that's great. And yeah, Jekyll knows what it's doing. Um, and I'm just hosting it on GitHub uh, for free, which is curtismichael.github.io. Uh, it'll be nerdy technical stuff, code, things like that. Uh, we'll go in there. So yeah, that's my day today so far. Um, that's it. The kids are sound like it'd be a bad part put on headphones in a bit and block them out better. Um, that's it for the day so far. Uh, I gotta be done actually like 1.30 today because there's haircuts for the two for my wife and my oldest daughter and then they go off to figure skating so it'll be a short short day today. Because I need to get out and stay focused. No goof around today. Not that I goof around normally but no goof around. Doing dishes. Time to rock her. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Little baby's asleep. So we got dishes to do still tonight. Exhausted. I slept under six hours, just under six hours, like five hours and seven minutes according to my Fitbit. So I do not feel like I don't know if I'm gonna get up at 445 to go to CrossFit or if I'm gonna get up at like 545 and just you know go for a four or five K run around here instead. Uh, and I've got because I've got a oh 10, I should probably do 15k, 12 to 15 kilometers on Saturday. I'll head up one of the local mountains for that. So we will see if I am tired. Um, and sleep, I don't prize it enough. What time is it now? Well, 8.44, so uh, I still gotta do chores, right? Let's get all these, my dishes. Still got dishes to do, uh, and then video to edit, which you're watching right now. So video to edit, and then we will head off to bed. So hopefully I'm dead before 9.30. If I'm in bed, I'm gonna be in bed by 9.30, I'll get up at 4.45. If I'm in bed after 9.30, I'll get up at 5.30. And uh, go for a run instead. So I guess that's, a good, that's a good side effect. Now you've heard it, so. If, uh, yeah, that's what it is. Let's get this done so that I can go to bed. <laughs>